morning, our main goal is to really channel appropriate ear care, primary health care as well, and understanding that the two are closely related and these are linked. And so we have the right partners, we have the right people. We, we've been working with Dr. Mariella Stabler in the past from the Barbados Speech and Hearing Center. Uh, we have this morning, we have volunteers from the Barbados Community College. And you see, these are the types of partnerships that are needed to make sure that we are promoting healthy ears, uh, ear care, because once we have more persons involved in the community and more persons aware of it, then we're going to be able to make sure that this is a continued event and not just something that happens once a year, but making sure that Bajans people are we're not neglecting our ears. This morning I had my ears tested and I felt very nervous. And I think that's because, you know, I haven't checked my ears for a very long time. And so I want to be able to lead by example and for everyone here this morning to get your ears tested. It's really important for the Deaf Heart Project as well to be bridging the gap and bringing both deaf and hearing persons together. Some people may have been wondering, well, why is Deaf Heart involved in something called World Hearing Day? And it's basically because we understand the fact that our deaf community, our deaf colleagues, their ears need taken care of too. And this is something that persons may not have thought about, probably why it's never happened in, in Barbados before. And so I'm really happy to have members of the deaf community present here this morning, as well as members of the hearing community, where we both understand that you know we all have the common need for primary ear care and ear health in Barbados. And I want to take this opportunity to appeal to government, to appeal to healthcare providers and professionals to work with us. Uh, today we're also going to be marking the launch of the training manual, the WHO Primary Ear and Hearing Care Training Manual, to which Dr. Marielle Stable will speak more to this morning. But knowing that we have this manual, what the Deaf Heart Project will be doing as champions of World Hearing Day this year is disseminating this information to healthcare providers, uh, medical doctors and practitioners to make sure that we all have access to the same information. And we're going to achieve the global health goal for primary ear and hearing care together.